slum residents and activists attempt to prevent the demolition of a shanty town in the Philippines' capital, Manila. Defending a homemade barricade, they throw rocks, Molotov cocktails and other missiles at police and the advancing demolition crew. The demolition workers responded by lobbing stones back at them. Police used water cannons to disperse the protesters. The government offered to relocate residents, but families complained the new site was too far from their work. Now my parents, my siblings who are living here are suffering.
information from a friend when I found out this school was a foundation it probably was my passion for teaching that brought me there. For us knowing the children's background aside from sharing the knowledge we are full-heartedly dedicated to our work. We always cheer up the students and always remind them that they have a hope for a better future with the help of education through Papaya Academy. Papaya is a stepping stone to a better future for children who live in poverty. Okay, so ano masasabi mo sa pag-aaral mo dito sa Papaya? Maganda po. Maganda, maganda. So marami ka natutunan. O, oh, saan ka ba nakatera? 
So, ano yung ginagawa ng magulang mo? Ano yung kinabubuhayan nila? Yung mama ko po ay tatlo Ah, nagpapalaki sa inyo. Anong ginagawa ng mami ninyo? Anong trabaho niya? Ano? Nagtitinda po ng palamay. Ah, nagtitinda ng palamay. Anong maging gusto mo maging palamay? Teacher. 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 We guarantee almost 100% quality education here in Papaya and we guarantee that we care for the students and we guarantee that we are really involved in taking care of the student's studies. Actually, plenty of past students that have already graduated even our first batch, whom are now in freshman college, come back to visit and thank us for everything that they have learned here. The curriculum we have here is advanced. Even if we will be incorporating the K-12 system, we will still be up to a good quality of teaching because the books we use are from private publishers. This is where we base our curriculums from. We always assure the parents that we care for the kids. graduated I worked one year for Philips and then I noticed uh, life is not all about working so I want to do something with my life so I decided to volunteer in the Philippines and Philippines because I, of course I have to be in and um, so where did you choose that? So I love something uh, what's also in line with my beliefs I don't really believe like in feeding programs like uh, feeding children it's, it's nice for one day but it's not something structural so I was looking for a foundation who was helping uh, people in the Philippines on a structural basis so that's what I found Papaya and so I got in contact with Papaya and that's exactly what they do it's really structural uh, providing kids with uh, Elementary is the first step to try to get out of the poverty, out of the garbage dump site. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's why I chose Purple Pack. So, uh, well, in the beginning when I was here, I was mainly focused operational, so I helped teaching for a few months. Uh, now I'm helping our foundation with the livelihood of the parents. That's also more in line with my course. Um, helping parents generate income. So the children are going to focus on the schools, so when they get back at home, they don't have to work. That's also what I'm going to help. So right now, what are those livelihood programs you do? Uh, we have found really nice clients, and we're making some ambulance equipment for them. And uh, besides that, we make a lot of recycled products made out of plastic. We make um, Christmas decorations made of paper. What else we make? Laundry baskets, um, uh, shopping bags, those kind of things. All of recycled materials. Yeah, uh, I'm also trying to help the livelihood because it's mainly focused on the mothers of our children because the products they make it's really detailed. Yeah. But I want to attract more fathers, so I'm trying to create a business. For example, in the furniture, because we need uh, uh, fathers for that, because it's mainly heavy labor. But in order to do that, we need first uh, heavy equipment, like saw or screwdrivers or like those bigger machines, welding machines, those kinds of things. And once we have the equipment, I'm the one uh, creating the, the business, and then we can attract the, the fathers, so they will earn also. So you have no plans to leave to the Philippines. No. Okay.
children, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going down. There's battle lines being drawn. Nobody's right if everybody's wrong. Young people speak in their minds. Are getting so much resistance from behind. Time we stop. Hey, what's that sound? Everybody look what's going on.